Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. How would you get a list of all user databases in SQL Server? Open your SSMS and connect to the SQL Server um, instance. Uh, right now I am connected with one of uh, the instance I have on my machine. Once you will be connected you will see the system databases and then uh, you will see the user databases here. SQL Server provide us uh, some system views those we can use to get the information uh, for the objects in the SQL Server. Uh, to get the information for uh, regarding the databases we can use sys dot databases view and that will give us the name of all the databases which are available on the SQL Server instance. Here I have uh, first four of them are system databases so I can remove them or filter them by using the where clause so where database underscore id is greater than 4 so this query will give us uh, all the user databases the uh, sysdar database view also provides us the different information such as uh, uh, owner SID create date uh, compatibility level correlation and recovery model and there are a lot of other uh, information or properties uh, information it does provide us so you can take a look uh, all the way on different columns if you need some information this uh, um, query can be used for different purposes let's say you want to get all the user databases and then want to run uh, update stats in one of the cursor query so you can use these uh, database names and then uh, use the cursor and uh, you will loop through each of them and uh, run your uh, update stats query so let me give you one more example here the purpose uh, could be you your manager is asking a list of the user databases on each of the instances so you can run this query on multiple instances and get those uh, your da user database names one other example I can give you right now uh, let's say I take the backup of this uh, database and then uh, what I want to do I want to take this backup on the C drive and I'm gonna give the name sale and then the date part to it 0 dot backup so this is going to generate us a, a SQL statement what I want to do instead of uh, running the backup I want to generate the SQL statement and then uh, I will take this SQL statement uh, and use uh, with the sysdar databases uh, query to build the backup uh, statement for all the databases so let me go ahead and build that so right now we have this statement if we will run we will make this one as a select statement and then here where we have single quotes we have to put another quote here as it is string so that's how we are gonna treat them as a string so let's run this one this is a select query that is returning us this output but I'm not selecting uh, this is static select query that's uh, have some uh, um, string inside but if I want to replace the database names to this static query I can do that so let me do this one from sys.databases so now what we see it will this query will run for all those different databases but what's happening here as it is static so the values for the database names are not changing so I can perform that part let's replace the static values with the name of the databases so here so we replace the name here so that will replace with the C and then uh, have the database name and date time date to add it to it now other part we, we can replace here as well so let me go back here and then add we're gonna add name here now here we, we also see this is sales and then let me put one more name here so we are replacing uh, wherever those static names we have it we are replacing them with the, the database names coming from sys.databases uh, view right now there is no filter so I'm gonna put a filter as well because we want to generate uh, the backup for only for the user databases if I want to generate for all the databases I don't have to put uh, this where clause 
now this the backup statement is created for all the databases so let me take a look right now you can see that we have test database and the, the name of uh, the file it is going to create uh, it is test db underscore date and then I have backup and now we have uh, uh, the name of that file so that's how you can use uh, these uh, system views uh, uh, to generate uh, your uh, scripts uh, so there are tons of uses uh, you will encounter multiple times you will uh, have requirements uh, where you have to use uh, these uh, views uh, and uh, use um, some uh, innovation to create uh, uh, different scripts uh, out of these uh, um, system of views so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video